All right, it's a tier seven game on Ruinberg. I'm in my T29, and I've just told my team that I'm going to be pushing the Eastern Village first. I'm putting this replay up, even though it's, it's not my more spectacular ones for me personally. Let me show you what happens when you're a high tier heavy and people actually listen to you if you give an instruction about where. Just I, you know, I didn't give any instructions. I didn't say they come with me. No, 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 I just I'm pushing East Village first. And now we're going to go briefly to rotate mode here. Uh, I might notice what's coming along. All the other tier 7s, an E25, a Panther, this A44, plus most of the tier 6s are actually rolling along with me. I've got over half the team here with me. And now the action begins. I take a bad shot at the Chaffee right there just because I can. And now I'm just kind of here. This KPMS is giving me a push. Uh, I can appreciate the sentiment in this case, though it's not necessary. I'm actually fast enough without him. And then I see there's nothing appears to be up here. My team is fanning. I say to myself, you know what? Heck with this. There's a tier 7. Well, let's go. Take a flank shot from an M4 using the derp gun. He hurts me a little bit. Eh, whatever. And my team is, you know, I'm just drawing fire at this point. That's doing my job. Oop, missed him. Eh, whatever. Oh, someone else gets him. Chaffee damages my tracks. Ooh, I just get a big hit. I managed to get a good hit on the Chaffee, and then, because now I need some cover, I'm heading straight for this fountain. Chaffee's bouncing around off my backside. Give you one, still watching out for me, though. Whoop, lose the track to the M4, but he's instantly annihilated by the friendly bishop. And the IS tech, I don't know what he's doing all the way up here. Uh, yeah, you can see they're all still trying to kill me. <laughs> but I'm going to hold down spot. They realize they need to get out of here. I track him. But I was spotting for all that. And look at this. We're now 5 2 because of the very, very strong push in the village. Of course, now the downside is the enemy team has dominance over the cap circle. So now we need to move quickly to do something about that. So, seeing I've got the A44 and E20 coming here, I ping the map right about now. Oh, come on. I know I did at some point along here. There it is. Trying to indicate to them, you know, move on the cap circle, move on the cap circle. As it turns out, it's me and the other three tier 7s, I'm actually the most shot up of the four of us, are going to be pushing around the north side while hopefully they are able to uh, keep the cap from going off around this side. There goes artillery, we saw him running away earlier. He's not going to get very far. Who is A44, side scripting like a boss. Oop. Almost run him over by accident. Didn't really want to do that. Panther 25 behind me, you're just taking the T34 apart. Still, we only got a short amount of time here. I'm like, I might have just enough time to get my gun on the cap and fire one shot. Spot a full health T25 on the cap. He's probably got cap points. Turns out he's got a good number of them. That'll pull the, the cap back. Alright. Continue with the glorious flanking maneuver by the T29 right here. I'm going to chuckle at my team right here. I'm going to be like, yeah, I said I was pushing. As you can see, I've barely stopped this tank here, except to uh, briefly stop and take occasional shots. Well, they're shooting at these guys, so I decided to take a chance and just roll straight for the fountain again. This E25 is just looking delicious. Bounce another round from the flank there. Hit the E25 and then try and ram him to track him. Unfortunately, it works in reverse. I end up being tracked. I used to use my bear kit to get back into cover before I ripped apart. E25 goes down. And now I'm the one sitting in the cap circle. The enemy team, for all intents and purposes, is now completely surrounded. What little is left of it. Because I can easily shoot him. I start shooting him to tier 5. I'm going to try to shoot at bigger things, but there's actually, at this point, there's nothing bigger left. The enemy team has just been wilted away. Ooh, can I actually get a kill shot? I can! And that is the end of that one. Uh, only four minutes long. It's one of the fastest games I've played in. Good game, and good night.